Yeah, pretend like you're gonna leave Just one shot of Hennessy Next thing you run over me, all over me We act like we're hard to get But we know this Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Amy Nguyen and today I'll be teaching you guys how to do this super cute, super hot pink Valentine's Day look. It's super quick and easy. Um, yeah, so <laughs> keep watching to learn how. <laughs> I really need to work on transitions. I don't know how to do this. So, I was gonna actually film this tutorial with this camera, but I realized that I had ordered my um, tripod on Amazon a couple of days ago, and because of the snow, it hasn't gotten here yet. So, I'm just gonna have to film with my phone and hope that quality is gonna be okay. So, let's get started. First, on my face, I'm just gonna use some um, primer. Here, I'm using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. So for foundation today, I'm using the Infallible Pro Glow and the Infallible Pro Matte. I kind of like just to like mix my foundations. Um, for some reason, I feel like it stays on a lot better because like when I use the matte alone, it's too matte and it causes me to like dry up. So I drip on the Pro Glow first and then I just drip some Pro Matte in in the middle. Pro Matte is always a little less than the Pro Glow. And I just start patting it out with a beauty blender. I'm just gonna bring this foundation down on my neck. I always forget that I have this mole here, so I'm always like, oh, it's on my face. And I try to like get it off, but really it's just a mole. And then what I like to do next is go in with a lighter concealer to contour. Um, ColourPop Cosmetics um, No Filter Concealer. For this concealer, I use shade Light 18. I think it's actually just like a really nice concealer for what it's worth. It's only like $5 and it works really well. I'm just gonna apply that to my under eye. And then some on my other under eye. And then down the tip of my nose. It's a like straight line. And then on my forehead. Then I'm just gonna blend out on my forehead first. And what I like to do with, with the excess, I always go down on my chin as well. But the past week or so, we've gone almost like a foot of snow, which is wild. And I'm bored out of my freaking mind. Let's blend everything all out. Here I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. And what I like to do for that is just go in and draw like two straight lines down my nose first for like a nose contour. And to blend up my nose contour, I like to go in with this Tarte contouring brush. It's double-ended. I go in with like the smaller end and just kind of pat my contour out. Blend it out by just patting. And on to the other side. See, it's really coming together slowly. I also like to take the leftovers on the brush and just pat, I like the tip of my nose of it and pat it upwards to like bring it nose up so it has like a cute little it curves up a little bit. And then I just like to go back into a beauty blender and really blend it back out too, just make sure that everything blends smoothly. And then for my face and cheek contour, I just go in and apply product from the tip of your ear down to like the corner of your mouth and that's where your contour line is. So you wanna like um, shade in that area of your face. So I always use kind of like these rounded strokes. And then onto the other side. What I do next is go in my beauty blender and just blend that out. You always want to kind of like press upwards too to not like bring your contour downwards because if the lower it goes down, the less it look, starts to look like a contour and the less effective it is. I always make like this really funny face when I contour is always like, it really helps me see where like my cheekbones are. Now next I go in and do my forehead contour. Um, I really like just like make my, my face look a little skinnier. So what I mostly do is just contour on this side and I'll go back into bronzer and bronze the top part. So what I do is kind of just brush more of the Toast Concealer onto the temples of my forehead, then bring it slightly upwards, just ever so slightly. Just go in and blend that out. 
This is kind of just like a base layer of contour too. I'll go back in later with bronzer to, dark, to darken things up and really amplify it. And another thing I really like to do is just applying some of the concealer onto my eyes as well. And this helps me contour my eyes a little bit as well as act as a base for my eyeshadow later on. And then another trick I also like to do is kind of going in with the concealer and just cleaning up the nose contour a little bit. Just draw kind of two lines there and go back in with the clean side of the beauty blender and just kind of blend this downwards back down in like my cheeks. This just helps you clean up your nose contour. So next I like to do my eyebrows. Just to keep this video like pretty quick, uh, I'm just gonna use the, I cannot talk with these braces on. So I'm going to use this Benefit Goof, <laughs> Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number three. How I do my brows with these is like, I like to line the underneath of my brow first with it. I'm using like really light handed strokes. So there we go, just extend my tail out a little bit. I kind of like draw like my the tail of my eyebrows in so using very light handed strokes as well the next so you can see that like my brow is starting to get like outlined i have the bottom lined and then like the tail what i like to go in next is just with really light strokes start kind of like feathering some hairs in like that just ever so lightly I'm just following my hairs as well. And now I'm really gonna start shaping my brow. I'm kind of drawing little hair strokes going in the right direction. I'm gonna have, like to take the spoolie and just kind of like blend things forward. And then I always have this kind of like weird like bald spot. It's not actually bald, but it's kind of light right this part of my brow so i'm just gonna like go in and draw some kind of like heavy strokes in and don't worry if it looks kind of messy right now i'll always like clean it up after too with some um concealer so what i like to do for front of my brows is go in with the precisely my brow pencil and like here i'm using number five and go in and really lightly draw some hair strokes in just kind of like flicking the pencil upwards adds a little definition to the brows and makes them look a little bit more realistic. For the very front, I do that ever so lightly as well, following my kind of natural hair strokes. Cool. I'm gonna go in with kind of like a concealer brush and I'm just gonna take I actually don't like using a lighter concealer for cleaning up my eyebrows. I just go back in with like one of my foundations, whichever shade's slightly lighter. Take a little bit of like whatever remains on the nozzle um, onto the brush and kind of just clean up my brow. Yay, now I have one side of the brows done. And now to do my other side. And then after my brows, I usually go in with a bronzer. So I think today I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer. I bought a mini of this to try out and I actually really like it. And now I wish I had bought like a bigger one because this one's just so tiny. It's really hard to get my brush in. So using a Morphe M527, I'm going to dip it into this Hoola. Kind of tap off the excess because it always comes out super powdery. I'm going to go in with a really light hand. Just dust some on my face, onto my forehead. So many baby hairs, I don't want to keep them back. Gonna bronze up my forehead. And I'm gonna bring some down very lightly, just a little bit on my cheeks. And for bronzers, I like to just really use 
really light hand and kind of like powder it upwards as well. And then also bronzing under the jawbone so that you have a more defined jawbone. Using a Luxie 182, also known as the JD Weighty Nose Contouring Brush, go in on with the longer fluffy side, the angled brush, tap a little bit, have the excess off, and just pat it very lightly onto my nose contour. Super light handed. Super duper light handed. We're going in with the other side. Our nose looks really dark right now, but we'll blend it out, don't worry. See right here, you're really just kind of building the foundation for like a really nice, super thin nose contour. Now I'm going back in with just whatever is left on the brush and kind of just like blending it out in really small little circles, very light handedly blending it out in this way, just doing it really patiently and slowly and you can save a couple thousand dollars on a nose job. So now you have like a really nice thin nose, I'm just going to apply a little bit more to here and contour the round of my nose. I'm gonna try to like keep your nose a really cute little button shape by drawing like kind of like a V with your brush at the very bottom tip of your nose. Going back inward, let's just blend that out really nicely. And what I like to go in is put a little more bronzer in your brush to contour the sides of the nose inward so that you have a really tiny little nose. And to give your nose really like a really upward curved, um, cut the tip of my nose with a little bronzer and then kind of blend it out so that it gives your nose a really circular and upward lifted illusion. There we go. Now I have a really nice contoured nose and I just like to go back in and kind of like Pat in with like the bottle of my beauty blender. There we go. So what I like to go in next with is just some setting powder. And here I'm using the beauty. Here I'm using the beauty bakery flower. Here I'm using the beauty bakery flower, um, a setting powder, and it is in shade translucent. Using a Morphe angled blender sponge, I'm gonna go in with one of the angles. Dip it inside um, the powder and kind of run it down right below my contour line just to like def define it and then give me like a sharper contour and a cleaner, cleaner separation between like light and dark. This is gonna look crazy, but trust me, it is worth it in the end. No, it's easy. You also like to go in with like a little edge and tap that onto the highlight of my nose too. Also some on my forehead. And ladies and gentlemen, this is called baking. If you have never seen this done before. And some on my chin as well as my under eye. I like to just go in back in with a little bit of bronzer just to like redefine those um, bronze kind of like my contour lines with my setting powder on. And then depending on your skin type, um, my skin gets dry pretty easily so I don't want to leave setting powder on for too long and you buffing brush. Just gonna buff it out of my skin. Well, you wanna buff it into your skin.
So today I'm gonna use the James Charles X Morphe palette. Um, I'm gonna do a really cute Valentine's Day look. Something pinky and kind of like pinky and red. Yeah, let's jump right on in. So using this Tarte eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna go straight in and apply some um, eyeshadow onto my eyes. Um, let's use this shade over here, this hot pink shade. It's called Pinkity Dinkity. I've been using this a lot actually. So I'm just gonna go in and apply it to the corner of like the outside corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna like try to draw in a really nice that's a slightly stiffer and not so fluffy. You don't want to blend it out quite yet. Kind of just creating the shape for right now. the edges so they're not so harsh. Go and blow more product and pat it into the center. I'm gonna leave the center and inner corners of my eyes like try not to get any um, eyeshadow on there because I want to go in with a lot lighter color and going in with a fluffier brush. I'm going to be using this Morphe 456 um, and going in with the, I got the name wrong, that was Skip, this color is called Skip, and then I'm going to go in with actual Pinkity Dinkity and blend out the outer edges of the eyeshadow of that color. Now I'm going off of another Calyx packing brush. This is a, I don't know what this is. It's have a name on it, but it's just kind of like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade, Jesus. this the shade Love That. It's just kind of like pinky purple shade. And darker, darken the inner corners. Pat that on there and blend it up. Darken the inner corner. And then going back in with the blending brush that I use Pinkity Dinkity on, I'm gonna go back in and just like kind of work and blend out the outer corners or the outer edges of the shadow. And going back in with the love that shade, go in and just darken, blend in with a clean blending brush. Okay, going in with the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette, I am just taking another brush and um, going in with the shade Tickle right here. I'm gonna really dampen that and then press it into the inner corners of my eye. a fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna blend everything out. I'm going in with a Stila Enchantress. In the inner corners, I'm just gonna like spread this on there. And then just using a, another brush. Just kind of like spread it out. I can still see this freaking lights flickering. Blend that out. I'm gonna use a bit of the brush to blend the outer edges. Blending that 
shimmer, glittery shimmer, whatever you call it, outwards. Going back in with that Love Me shade and really push that into the outer corner. Perfect. And then using a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Snow, I'm going to draw some little hearts on the outer of my eyeshadow. We have one eye. Um, it's almost done. And now just going in with the um, hot pink shade called Skip. I'm just going to go in and apply that to my lower lash line. Going in with Huda Beauty and Tickle, I'm going to pat that into the corners right there. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to do go off camera and do my other eye. I got my other side of my eye on, and now we're just going to add some lashes. Um, so lashes I'm going to use today are the Iconic Lights. Got my handy dandy duo lash glue. I'm just going to put on some glue on my lashes, let them dry for a quick bit. So now while we're waiting for the glue to get tacky, I am gonna put on some highlighter. So the highlighter I wanna go with today is just the Anastasia um, Glow Kit in that glow. And I'm gonna use the shade Bubbly. It's kinda like the champagne-y um, shade. Using a Morphe E61, I'm just gonna grab some of that onto the brush and Start brushing it onto the high points of my cheek. I'm going to add some on this side too. And on some on the cupid's bow. And then using a pencil brush, I'm going to add that down the high points of my nose. And some on the tip of my nose. And use my brow bone. And by now, these lashes should be all nice and tacky. It's gonna apply. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot to do, I forgot to curl my lashes. I need to curl my lashes real quick. I'm just gonna quickly apply some mascara before my, la my um, falsies fully dry. Here I'm using, what am I using? I'm using Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Just quickly coating my lashes with a coat of mascara so that they can stick nicely onto my falsies and really blend them. Gonna let these lashes dry. While they're drying, let's put on some blush. I think we're gonna use a blush out of my Tartlet blush book. Oops. And today I'm gonna use the color Slumber Party. It's like a really light, cool pink. Tap some of that onto my blush brush. 
and it's kind of like applying it in circular motions onto the um, the apples of my cheek. There we go. And then my eyelash is still drying. See, there's little bits of like white glue underneath. So I'm just gonna go in and tight line my eyes really quick just to like help kind of not see that line. Another thing you can do um, when there are like little white glue spots on your eyelashes are just go to the black eyeliner and kind of like tap over those spots. Now I'm gonna go back in really bad girl bang and just put some mascara onto my bottom lashes. So, on my lips, I am going to actually line my lips with this Artiste um, by Tarte. It is the shade Boho. And my lips are aligned, I am actually going to go in with Too Faced Melted Matte and the color Cool Girl. My lips are so chapped, sorry guys. To actually make my lip a smidge bit pinkier, I'm going with ColourPop um, Liquid Ultra Matte Lip in the color Solo and just adding it to like the inners of my lips. And there we have it. That's my Valentine's Day look. <laughs> Valentine's Day look. If you like my videos, please do hit the subscribe button down below as well as the thumbs up button. That way I can make more videos for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Flickering. Which one of you is it? Started out being innocent, big words promised everything, but all along we knew this was bad, this was bad, oh, gotta end, gotta make it stop, we can't pretend that this is love, but then we touch and it all gets lost in pink glass and fairy dust, we were only fun, till you show me love. I'm not